the last time. We're stepping into the kitchen, making a very special meal as we remember Tata Madiba through his favorite dishes. And in the kitchen, we have Pete Gotkins, who was Tata Madiba's favorite or personal chef uh, on his visits to London. He also prepared the state banquet Madiba hosted for Queen Elizabeth and uh, Tony Blair. And this is a very, very special recipe. Simple. Pete, very nice to have you with us. Thank you. And um, we're going to talk about a little bit later um, after you've told us what we are making, but you've had some uh, numerous personal encounters with Tata Madiba himself. So firstly, take me through the recipe because this is, it looks so colorful. So, you know, the first thing we got is a very simple chicken curry. Yeah. We all know he wasn't a man of extravagance and he just liked good, simple, honest yeah. cooking. You know, everything that's that embodied his life. And you know, I think that's you, what you can about. tell a lot about a man by the food that he eats. I mean, uh, you know, he was, he liked simple food and whatnot and it just really envisioned him as a, as a very simple man, down to earth. Absolutely, and I think, yeah. you know, the biggest thing for him was, was no extravagance, no opulence, yeah. and he, you know, he'd had a life of simplicity yeah. in jail, and he continued that. And mm. you know, he wasn't going to abuse his position or, or his status at any stage. Love it. The, the chicken curry we're doing was, was something that I got asked on numerous occasions when he was staying in London at the High Commissioner's house, mm. or even when he stayed in the Dorchester. You know, I'd get a phone call and say, look, just tell them something simple, not hotel food, please. <laughs> you know, and that old, you know, that old adage, kiss, keep yeah. it simple, you know, and I think that's really what oh. this is about. So yeah. we've just got chicken. You can use uh, deboned chicken. You can use whole pieces. You can use skinless. It's really your choice. Yeah. He preferred it skinless, and he only ever wanted the wing bones in. Okay. Didn't like anything else with a bone in. Wing bones. Just again, one of these little things. Yeah. Um, so we've got onions, we've got curry, we've got turmeric, we've got garam masala in the pot. We're just browning off the chicken. Brilliant. I'm just going to add a bit of chicken stock. Great. Of course, you can make your own chicken curry just the way Tata Madiba liked it by SMSing the keyword curry 233728. We'll send you on the pick and pay shopping list and a link to the recipe. It's really not that difficult once you have all the ingredients. All right. Know, the other dish we're going to show you today, we're not going to prepare it, but we've okay. got a couple going in the oven, is a chocolate Millie Meal pudding. Wow. And this is something that was developed specifically for the state banquet with the Queen and Madiba. And my brief was to use a traditional food ingredient for a dessert and uh, come up with something new and novel. Okay. So we took the chocolate fondant basis yeah. and uh, we were able to, to make what we call now a chocolate Millie Meal pudding. That and sounds it, absolutely it's delicious. Absolutely, absolutely stunning, and that's it. Well, no, that's we've got a couple of them busy going in the oven. Tell me quickly, how long do you do you kind of just brown the chicken in there before you add the rest? You know, the just meat? a few minutes. Just let it brown slightly, okay. and just let the chicken stock that I've added come up to the boil. Just keep adding yeah. it. You've got all your ingredients in. Yeah. The seasoning, I add a bit of salt at this stage. The pepper, I'll grind in later. Okay. Um, the bay leaves are in, and it's yeah. just to amalgamate all those flavors and just keep it going nicely. And then slowly you would add all your, your potatoes, your peppers. Absolutely. The potatoes are par-cooked. Okay. The, the tomatoes are blanched and chopped. And we yeah. fold that through at the last minute just to give it a bit of body. body. And obviously the tomato and the peppers, the textural difference. They're not cooked through. So it's just a little bit of crunch, a little bit yes. of texture, and that's sweet flavors that come mm -hmm. through. Pete, you, you told me a little bit earlier about a story where you sat down with Tata Madiba and you attempted to play some chess. Oh, let's get these out then. Things are right. Yeah. And oh, that looks a little bit burnt, but amazing. So let's so let's through. take that guy out there as well. We go. So you play chess. I don't play chess. Let's just be clear on that. <laughs> I don't play chess. But we were at the High Commissioner's house. The then High Commissioner, Cheryl Corollas, was busy. Uh, he'd come into the kitchen. One or two of the other staff were playing yeah. chess. And he came in and, you know, we all scurried about the minute he arrived. Can I do something? He said, no, no, I'm just washing my teacup. Wow. And then he proceeded to sit down and challenge us all at chess. Of course, I lasted all of about 30 seconds. I'm sure. <laughs> you know, it was just, it's, you know, it's just really what wow. he was about. You know, he was always, yeah. when we did events, he would always make sure my staff got greeted, looked after mm. them, and he was often more, more in the back, I thought, than the front. You know, there was one or two occasions where he's actually yeah. called out the kitchens to come and sure. be with his guests. You know, so. it's, it's wonderful to hear all these stories um, coming out. And I mean, you were one of the very few people who had the opportunity to sit down with him on a personal level. And I mean, I'm sure that is something that you're going to be you're treasuring forever. Look, it's something that uh, that's a huge privilege yeah. that, uh, you know, I will never, ever, ever forget. Yeah. And just being able to shake his hands, look in his eyes and do something for him. You know, he's mm. done so much for us as a nation. Wow. The little, little bit that I did uh, just 
yeah. you know, just doesn't even get onto the scale. I can just imagine. Can no, just, you know? We are here to essentially to make that chicken curry. So basically, once you've done all of your, your ingredients in there, it ends up looking like this. And that looks absolutely So what we've done is we folded the potatoes yeah. in. Yeah. We put the peppers over just for that little bit of color. I love it. It's such a colorful dish. And, you know, the tomatoes on, you can add a little bit of dunya or coriander onto this. Mm just to finish it off. And it's a beautiful, simple, light curry yeah. that, that's full of flavor. He loved fruit, sweet and sour. It was one of his big things, chutney. Chutney. So we've made a homemade peach chutney there. Yeah. Obviously, we've got some well-known brands here. That's it. And you know, that with the banana and yogurt, the rice, keep it simple, lots of flavor. And you know, and then we're on to the pudding side. And you yeah. Can and this was just made with mealy meal and it's, chocolate. It's, it's mealy meal, chocolate, sugar, butter, baked in the oven. You know, it's a it's a dessert fit for kings and queens. Oh, <laughs> you for know, sure. it's well. something that 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 has been used for that. We serve it sometimes with creme fraiche ice cream yeah. just to break the sweetness a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And um, you know, it's a dessert. In its uncooked form, it'll last two to three weeks in the fridge. Nice. So it's something that you can have as a reserve for a dinner party. Friends come around in the oven for seven minutes. Yeah. And it's one of those fabulous things. Quick, and quick, get it almost, out. Almost, yeah, right, prepared earlier. Pete, thank you so much. That keyword, once again, curry23728. We'll send you on the pick and pay shopping list and a link to the recipe. But if you want to know how we got to the final product, just like this, take a look at this. Saute onions, then add curry powder, turmeric, ginger and garam masala. Add chicken, then brown before adding chili and bay leaves. Pour in stock, then simmer for 30 minutes. Stir in peppers, tomato and potatoes, then cook until tender. Garnish with coriander. And that keyword once again, curry, 233728 for this amazing chicken curry. And there's also the chocolate recipe in there, Pete. You broke the rules, man. You did an off-air tasting. Come on. You know what? I, I, saw, <laughs> I saw the chocolate kind of oozing out of this dessert, and I just had to. And Pete let was it, like, there it, we go, have it. Let it ooze this way, Ewan. Come on. <laughs> there, grab yourself oh, food. Thank you. Pete, thank I, you so much. Thank sir. you, guys. Mm. Cheers. All I want is the chicken. Can I, can yeah, I get the chicken just now? Breakfast, lunch. I don't know what you guys call it yet. I think this classifies as a good breakfast. It's good breakfast. Of the chocolate millies, I think, in the ramekins, if you want to just keep them and give the guys. We <laughs> want child. We know. Do you know what the nice? Sorry, Pete, yeah. you know what the nice thing is about all of these recipes that was inspired by Tata Madiba? I don't think you're going to pick up any weight. <laughs> <laughs> I, think it's, I think you're not going to get fat from any of these. Oh, 